Hi, I'm Kiana Harper from Burke High School. And my piece is called Paper Home. I was raised by a man who was made of matchsticks and grew up living in a paper home. I knew first of fire drills and I did a fairy tales and always smell the booze lingering off his lips. My first words were spoken with a mouthful of ashes. I was told not to speak of the fires that would erupt once he came home. Taught me to swallow the flames as if there were nothing more than swigs of morning coffee. Told me whatever happens in this house stays in this house. I was raised by a man whose fists came down in cycles. I saw right through those dark, tired eyes and saw his father's anger and his father's too. Years of neglect coiled up through the snaking DNA, passed down like a curse, he'd fallen unlucky. Does his mouth spit words or just memories of things drilled into him? All his anger built up with no release. I always held my breath at this point. And no matter how many times he set our paper home ablaze, put dents in the white walls, or came home smelling of hard liquor and smoke, he called my mom beautiful, and that was enough to make her fall in love again. I was born to a woman who had more troubles than she had money, who spent more time at work than she did in her own home, swore she loved the man after making love once, but still chokes on the words, I love you, and looking into my eyes, the same eyes that belonged to the man she so desperately tried to get away from once. I look so much like him that at times it scares her. I was born to a woman whose biggest regret was not dropping out of school or running away from home. It was birthing three children to men who were too busy getting high and being absent instead of being fathers. Left such a void in my mother's heart that even I, her daughter, couldn't help fill it. I am a walking reminder of a love ran dry. My mother, a desperate cry in the middle of the desert for something to take the pain away. See, I was born a girl to parents whose love burnt out too quickly, raised by a man who forced me to stay home if I was caught wearing nail polish. I found love and comfort in the warm arms of books and poetry. The only place I felt safe, I was nine with glasses and a fear of going home. It's no wonder I ran to books, because in books, paper was a good thing where I wasn't silenced it. I wasn't scared into silence or had so much of a resemblance to my father that my own mother couldn't look me in the eyes. But in this, I am just a girl. A girl raised by a man who was nothing but toxic, born into a family who had too many problems and not enough solutions. Standing here today, sharing my words that kept lodged under my rib cage far too long, telling you I am no longer afraid of a lit match. Yeah.